All right, folks, I just want to show a simple little hack, little tip I just discovered that will save a lot of frustration. What this involves is the common rod holders that a lot of people have, like this, that are round. This one holds 14 or 15 rods. I can't remember exactly how many. And what holds these rods in is these little rubber deals right here. They're kind of like a, a ring that has an opening little gap here in the front and over the past couple years well I noticed what happens is they work really good when it's cold because that rubber will kind of stay together but as the water I mean as the weather heats up they tend to move a lot easier and they stay open and the rods always fall out uh, none of the rods stay in unless they're big catfish poles uh, anytime there's just a little bit of wind uh, from a thunderstorm coming through or something before you know I was being there watching TV and I'll hear the rods fall out um, so I had this idea to put duct tape over them where you put you put the rod in and you put duct tape over it and it worked but the problem is as the weather cools and heats uh, they end up coming undone and then your rods get all sticky and the, it, it just every time you're touching your rod you can feel that glue on there and finally yesterday I said I got to do something to where they stay in there because it's frustrating alright here's all you need when you buy a trot line it always comes with these little 14 inch 15 inch uh, pieces of white line and what you do, you take this one end of this line, you stick it through the loop, and kind of back in the corner like this, and you tie it at least two or three good knots on there, where it'll stay on there, like so. Alright, then that string's hanging there, it's tied, it's wrapped around the back of this ring. You take your rod. Stick it in the hole, put that rod in there, like so. Now all you do is you take that white line, you go around the other side toward the back one time, and then you start wrapping it around that pole at least. You, it, you can get sometimes seven to eight good wraps depending on the thickness of your rod and then once you get to where there's only about two inches left you can just tie a little like you're tying a shoe to tie it off if you get enough wraps on it you don't even need to do that but you just don't want to tie that too tight but I can sit here and go like this now and it won't come out because it's wrapped around it so many times and voila a simple hack to keep them in there there is another thing that will work, which I don't have, or I would have used that instead, and that's rubber bands. Thick rubber bands where you put, hook the rubber band through, and then you can wrap it around the pole a few times and then loop it back in there where it's good and tight and it will hold. So, it saves a lot of frustration. I was about to go out and buy, a, I wanted to get one that is plush with a wall, like a flat pole holder that runs along the wall instead of a round one, one that just you know runs along the side of the wall but after doing this I think I'll go ahead and hold on to this for a while because it will work um, yeah, there it is folks there's always an easy way to to fix something uh, I know sure some of you have had the same problem with them things just not cooperating with you I think this works good uh, as you can see this one here I'm pulling this almost as hard as I can it's not coming out because they are just long enough where you can get seven eight good rats on it and it's tied off like a shoe when you're done and that's it folks hope this helps somebody and have a good day and hit that like button and please subscribe